Hello YouTube. This is our next project. We put off we put this off till winter time. We tried bashing that down because it's loose. And I've only had this hammer a few years. This is the one I modified. Like for a pick hammer. The only, the only thing I don't like is when I'm using it, this is in the way. I'm going to make this smaller. I'll probably make this just as small as down here where these start getting what do you call flatted flat sides we'll make it smaller I think you can see what I mean you see what the point is you're trying to see it and this is in the way you can't see what you're doing and anyway, I think we're going to make the hammer handle shorter because this is like 11 inch handle on this little thing and I'm always choking up about that far sometimes which is not quite four inches so I kind of measured it out here would be the top of the head here would be the bottom of the head it might be hard to see against this background see where it tapers down then it goes almost the same width and then it starts going back up and I've done that before with these type of handles I mean I know we could retighten this but uh oh, let's make something we want to make. Eight ounce bond. I mean, it was a good hammer when I bought it. I probably paid twelve, thirteen dollars or something like that, and I got a deal because I got it at an industrial tool supply store, and they just probably happened to make this one cheaper than the other ones because I've got a real big forty-eight ounce hammer from there. What do you think? Should I take these off? You won't be able to tell me. You know, it's going to be the whole. I think we're going to smooth them off. Let's leave it flatted, right? But let's let's smooth them off a little. That's just too sharp. See how the paint gets knocked off, and let, let's make them look a little better. That's weird. See that? Little dot. Two of them. Look at. Yeah, there's two of them there. Or so I round it all the way. What do you think? It depends on what it looks like when I start doing it. Maybe this is, I, I hate to change it because I know I ain't going to try to modify this like my other hammer and make this round. We're just going to smooth them out. There, that answered that. We're not going to try to change the shape of this right here. it would be blue again. The best blue I got is my dark blue model car paint. I'll even show you the bottle there, but it's just dark blue model car paint, but. Uh, that's our wooden mallet we made a long time ago. And that's from working on that last ball piece hammer. This piece of mulberry, it's just a wooden dowel from the store. Uh, it's not in here straight. It was just put together. But it works. That's what I pound with. That's what I took the head off with. So let's mop on this. Now talk. We'll see what it's like to get the head off. We'll be right back. Okay, this is exactly what it came up. I had Gorilla Glue in there, and I don't know what the deal is here. Maybe I drilled out the metal wedge. It looks like shiny metal. And then tried putting a wood wedge in there or something. But I put that Gorilla Glue and I with water, it expands it. It looks like that expanding foam insulation. Can you see it? What it looks like? Gorilla Glue. I finally had to throw the little bottle away. I had it inside of a Ziploc baggie, and it still dried up. Because air makes it dry out. I had so much air space in the bottle. They tell you to push the air out. Uh, but I've tried that. I'd use the grill glue and I'd be squeezing it out, right? And put the spout on and then tip it up. Uh, there's still going to be air in there. So that didn't last long. Uh, you, look, you ever look back see when I built my stereo boom box? Is when I bought that Gorilla Glue. But I'll buy me another small bottle. It was a little round bottle. You could get a like four bucks or whatever. You could get the little about the size of a little small Elmer's glue. There we go. We're gonna decide. Let's do some measuring. We'll be back in. We'll we'll, be, we'll decide uh, whether we want to take it down here, make it this short, and we can get up here a little further. How short do we want this? We want about that short, or do we want to try to put it up here? I'm voting for right down here where I already had it picked out. 
I don't mind the look of that with that tapers. So I think that's what we're going with. If this handle's not the greatest. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. It's you come around here and it's real a sharp edge. It it doesn't even roll flat. It it's not a really good shaped handle. I can do better than what they did. This stuff's mass produced. So not to complain about it. I mean it's good enough for a hammer. I'm gonna make it a little bit nicer shaped. And this still has the varnish on it. So we'll be back. Uh, we don't want this too long of a video. We'll be back when we're all done with this project. Uh, I We might throw a couple clips in somewhere, but I really doubt it. I mean, clean it up, paint it, do everything, and show you what it's done. That way it won't be a real long project video. Stay tuned. Well, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, it was tough as mass produced, but man. See that? Look, look at this side. It's almost squared. We'll, we'll, we'll ignore the grooves right now. We'll get to that ramp. Look at that. These grooves are very deep. We're going to take them out. We're still going to keep the same design. But look at that. See that? Let me flip it over. Here it isn't so bad. We'll keep the same design. We'll keep this flat. Keep this rounded. We're going to leave just a little bit of this so we don't get confused that the bottom has the two dots because look down in here, okay? Let's turn it over. See that? Here, we'll even get a pointer. Try to look to the camera lens. I'm only about six inches away from my camera. See that? We're taking that out of there. Now, this is a little bigger than the bottom, which that's okay. Don't be confused, because when you put the wedge, it swells this up, which makes this bigger, so it won't pull off. So, that that's a plus. I don't know if you can tell on camera by looking at it. I mean, I can kind of eyeball stuff like on axe heads. Okay, we're going to do a bunch of grinding. We'll be back. This wasn't supposed to be this long a video. But, we'll try to straighten this up with Dremel stuff. And this is just sanded with these little sanding drums. I have three sizes. I have that one, medium one, and a little one. And I've got two different kits I bought. Uh, what was last Christmas time in the store? Last minute shopping and I seen it. At a Walmart or somewhere. The other one's Harbor Freight. I was told I don't get paid to mention any company, but yeah, that's that's why this is going to be painted in here. But we're going to make this look better. So stay tuned. If I come back, we'll have this all cleaned up, and we'll make this a little smaller. Like I said, you're trying to look around that when you're hitting. I think you know what I mean. I mentioned that before. You can't see what you're doing. Okay, this is going to be fun. Something to do, though. I mean, when I'm done, I've got a nice project, you know. I took a hammer, I've used it for several years, and it's all fell apart, and now I'm going to redo it. So, that's the way it is, no matter what you buy. I don't care where it's made, that's my opinion. I don't care where you buy it. That doesn't mean that it's extra super quality for where it's made. It's how it's made. And the price of it. For the price of it, I'm not complaining. It was like a little $12 hammer. Stay tuned for more. Stand by for more. You know who does that? Stand by for new. You know who I'm talking about. If you're old as me. Okay, a real quick clip. This is what I've been using. See how it's long? It's not too big around. That way I can get in here and keep this flat. Now you can use the tip to get out little scratches. I've got some I can show you in here. I have to look around the camera. Some that's left in here. Kind of right in here. You can use the tip to kind of get them out. So it's going to be painted, but there you go. So I keep, when I come up here, I clean the edge and I go different directions, like honing. You know, because this is 
kind of domed. See that? There. So you can see how I'm doing it with just that one Dremel bit. It's all I've been using. Just that one long one. So I've got these squared. Way better than the last picture. So I'm gonna take a break. We'll go back and grind some more. This takes a while. Okay, we've been working on the handle. We had to take a rotary rasp bit and put it in my drill and shape that because this stuff is so hard, this wood. They must have put that uh, preservative stuff in there where they stabilize wood or something. I don't know. It's really hard. It's not hard to sand, but to rasp it, you can't dig in. It's so hard. But we tapered this more. Okay, can I get more? This only came back like this, and then it looked like that all of a sudden. You know, it was about like that. So, we spent the time to taper this back some more. So, it looks a little better for having it, because this handle isn't proper when you do this. But, when I use this hammer, I'm probably going to be holding it kind of like this or so, to paint on stove. And you can see, I mentioned that before, you couldn't see what you're hitting at. And this was polished with one of these emery stones that come in your Dremel kits. So that's all I used on that. We will take regular polish uh, and polish that head up. Uh, this head tapers, and I just kept cleaning it and, and brushing it that way. It is smaller out here than back here. I measured it. It's like 20 thousandths difference. And I can tell it that it looks different, but... Some little mark from one of the sanding drums. I've used sanding drums and stones and everything, and I'm sure I already showed this in a clip where I squared this off, got rid of all those grooves. So, there you go. Uh, thought I'd show you like this raw form before. It's painted and this is oiled. We still have to saw the slot in here and put the wedge in. We're deciding whether to put this together and then paint it, because then we'll have a way to hold the vice for it to dry, and that might be how we're going to do it, because we're going to just use hand paint. We don't have a color blue or it. We want it blue. We don't have no spray paint that we like the color of. So This is kind of hard to mask. This. See how this comes out? And then it goes back like that. So it's kind of hard to put your masking tape when you do these type of hammers. But No talk. You won't see this again until it's done. Uh, the video is already way too long. But uh, The more I do this, the less I'll show the techniques I'm using. I, I like to show... Uh, what I'm using. I may put a picture that I want of rotary rasp that you put in a drill. And I had it in my drill mount in my vise. So I just took this up to it. So to make it easier. But I did take a lot of wood off with it. So. Now if you act, Let's get this job done. We want other things. We want to do other things besides too many days. It's the second day on this. So we don't want to spend too much time on one project. We'll get bored of it. Okay, we are done with this. It's hand painted. You're going to be able to tell that by looking at it. Uh, it's kind of hard to mask around here and do that. So there might be a few spots where the paint got over or under. It's close to the blue that it was. This is just model car paint. A light coat of oil. Like I said, I sanded this with... What do I always say? 80 grit? I can show you a piece of it, which I really can't find right now. I might be able to. Because I like a rough finish. That, that, that's pretty rough paper there. I like a rough finish, even though it's oiled, so it don't slip. But most of the time, I'll probably use this hammer like this. I think I showed that before. And you can see where you're hitting better now. So there you go. About all I can say. Thanks for watching. Uh, I did show how I tapered this back quite a bit. If you look at the stock handle, you'll kind of be able to tell that I took quite a bit. I went back about an inch here and then tapered more. Because you're shortening the handle and it's not a proper handle. You know how they're made. I've thrown the other piece away, but... There you go. Thanks for watching. I'm sure by now you see my other ball peen hammer and you see my little custom crescent wrench. 
Uh, the next wrench I do, I won't have to show all that detail. But I like to make a few videos uh, a little longer to show you the techniques and the tools I use. And I should have showed you the rotary rasp that goes in a drill. I had a mount in the drill and I was running this underneath it. It's just like a cylinder with the little grippy things like a rasp file. It made it a lot quicker because this is some really hard wood. So, Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, it's a nice little hammer. It will be used. It will not be just uh, hung on the wall. And I will definitely use this hammer. It will be on my bench where my big vice is when I need to work on something. So, We're out of here. We had enough of this.